This video is brought to you by PremiumBeat.com. Animation and motion graphics is such an amazing skill set to have because you can create animated videos without leaving your home, which is especially important in a time like this with the pandemic going on worldwide. So in this video, I wanna talk about the very basics of creating animation from a beginner standpoint. So you're gonna learn how to easily start from scratch to creating a fully detailed animation. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So this tutorial is gonna be very easy to follow along with, and I've broken this video up into two easy parts. So the first part, we're gonna talk about gathering our graphics in Adobe Illustrator. I'm gonna show you how you can get pretty much any graphic that you're looking to animate. And then we're gonna move over to Adobe After Effects where we're gonna animate that graphic. So after watching this video, you should be able to animate pretty much anything that you wanna animate. And you'll be able to easily follow along this tutorial no matter what your skill level is with animation, whether you're just starting off or you have a little bit of experience. So let's go ahead and jump into our tutorial. Let's get started. So our first step is to go to Adobe Illustrator, but before we do anything here, we need to get our hands on some graphics. And you can watch tutorials on how to create these individually from scratch. It's not hard to use Adobe Illustrator, but to save time in this tutorial, just to talk about animation. You can go to a website called freepix.com. I'll link it in the description, and you can literally find maybe over a million different types of vector graphics, and vectors are what we need for Adobe Illustrator. So you get tons of categories, and in this video, I'm gonna link this one specifically, which is just a bunch of icons. So when you find graphics that you're looking for, you just search for it. You can download them for absolutely free. You just need to give them credit. Uh, we can come over to Adobe Illustrator. And when you unzip their files, you're looking for a specific project file. So you're looking for usually the encapsulated postscript, which is the EPS file or an Illustrator file. So it doesn't really matter which one you would use. This works the same way. What you do is you right click on that and you just click on open with obviously Illustrator. And boom, we're gonna have our file ready to go. So obviously I just want to work with one icon. I'm going to find this satellite right here. I'm just going to copy this, go to file new, and I'm going to create an artboard. I'll do 1920 by 1080 and click create. And I'm just going to paste that in there and hold down shift on my keyboard and I can make this bigger and reposition it. It doesn't really matter about size necessarily because these are vector objects. And a vector object is simply just a piece of geometry that holds its fidelity no matter how small or big that it gets. So the main thing that we have to do here in Adobe Illustrator before going over to After Effects for animation is that we need to organize this so we can easily animate this inside of After Effects. What you're gonna need to do is go up to the Layers tab. If you don't see the Layers tab, just go up to Window, Layers, and we'll have one layer here typically. It depends on you know the graphic that you've downloaded. But we'll open this up and you'll see that there's a group here. And if I select the object, it selects the entire thing. So if we want to be able to select individual objects here, what we need to do is just make sure everything is selected, go up to object and click on ungroup. Now you'll see that that group is gone and every layer has its own path and that's great. And you might need to ungroup your object multiple times. It just depends on the graphic that you've downloaded. And then what we're going to do is come down here to the create new layer icon and we're going to create a bunch of these. Okay. So our goal here is to put everything that we want to animate inside of After Effects into its own layer. So for example, if I just want to click on this signal icon, which I have selected right here, you can see that's highlighted blue. I'll go ahead and select that here in the layers and put it into its own layer. So now, boom, that's in its own layer. And then I can then I click on the second one, put that into another layer. Then I'll rename these like signal one and I'll do like a signal two. So now I'll be able to have that nicely organized inside of After Effects, but we need to continue to put everything that we want to animate into its own layer. So I can come here, click a layer, hold down shift on my keyboard to select multiple layers. And then I see that we have three selected here and I could put this in its own layer. And then we'll just kind of go through this and set this up. As of right now, we've been putting every single element into its own layers, but you'll see that these wings or whatever they're called, um, have multiple you know layers inside of them so in this case we can just select them all and you'll see everything that's highlighted and we'll put those into its own uh, its own layer here in Illustrator and then, and I'll show you in After Effects how we can explore this even more but we'll go ahead and just make sure both those are in its own layer and then just delete any extra layers you don't need so of course make sure everything is renamed correctly so you can easily you know have a good workflow inside of After Effects and when you're done here just go to file 
save as and we'll make sure that this is saved as an Adobe Illustrator file and we'll call it whatever we need to call it. And before we move on, I want to say thank you to premiumbeat.com for sponsoring this video. Premium Beat is a royalty-free music provider for your creative video and motion graphic projects. They have an extremely popular library with thousands of songs to choose from, and they have a very easy in-depth search and menu filter system that allows you to quickly find the best songs for your video. So for your next video project, be sure to check out premiumbeat.com for your royalty free music. So now that Adobe Illustrator is taken care of, now we can move over to After Effects and begin the animation. All right, so here we are in After Effects and I'm gonna show you how we can get this animated. So first things first, we're gonna wanna obviously go to our project file that we saved from Illustrator and we'll just click this and drag it into our project window right here in After Effects. And it'll ask you how you wanna import it. Click on Composition and click OK. And then what we're gonna do is create a new composition and we'll just call this, you know, Tut or Main 1920 by 1080, click OK. Then we'll go into that uh, project file that you saved composition, in my case it's Satellite 2. And I'm just going to go ahead and select all these layers and copy them. Go to the composition that we just created and paste them in there. This way we won't have any project file sizing uh, to deal with. And now if everything's selected, I can move this around. So the first thing that we absolutely need to do is select on this continuously rasterize icon right here. And this will allow us to easily scale things up and down. So for example, if I had this turned off and I scaled up one portion of this, you can see things are pixelated, but with it turned on, bam, not pixelated. So that's why you wanna have that on there. So when you scale things, it'll hold its fidelity. And that's the value of a vector file. So the moment everyone's been waiting for is to start the animation process. And now that we have everything in its own layers right here in After Effects, just like we save them in Illustrator, this is going to be super easy. Maybe for example, I'll just move this over here for now. This is where I want this to be. So obviously everyone's object, depending on what they have, is going to have different animation. You just have to do animation that makes sense for what you're working with. So for example, I have these signals here onto my satellite. One thing that I could do is I could have these like flicker on and off and you know, that's pretty easy to do. So, so for example here, so I can bring in these out points for these layers and you know, goes away. Then what I can do is maybe select both these layers, go up to edit, duplicate, and bring them up one, and then I can just move it over. So for example, boom, goes away just like that, or we can even stagger these layers a little bit better. So that is pretty cool, and I can just continue to duplicate these um, and move them over for this quick animation. And obviously this isn't anything over the top, we'll kind of get to that in a second. So just by using the in and out points of the layers, I can create my own unique animation on and off, but this doesn't work for every object. So let's go ahead and animate some things in here and get an idea with some more keyframe animations. So I can come and grab a certain object here and hit S on my keyboard for scale. And before I do anything, I can grab the anchor point right here. I'm bringing this anchor point to like the corner of my layer and this will animate everything around the anchor point. And then I can add a keyframe for scale and move it forward in time, maybe by a second you know, maybe by like 12 frames or so and set the scale down to 0%. Select both keyframes and make them easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9 or keyboard. And I'll come on just like that. And then I can even copy these keyframes and paste them to like another layer here. So the bigger dish here, I'll just go ahead and paste that right into there. That's cool. I'll go ahead and readjust the keyframes. That's looking pretty cool. And then I can grab our rod here. Maybe readjust the anchor point to be on the bottom. And I can hit S and Shift R to bring it rotation. And we'll add a keyframe for both of these. And we'll bring them forward in time, obviously. And we'll bring the scale down to 0%. And we can just offset the rotation. And we'll bring this layer on top of our other layers here so we can see it before it comes in. So we have pretty much everything animated. But let's say we want to add some more details. So now what we have left here are the two wings. And I want to show you some further editing capabilities of this even though we didn't save each of these paths into its own uh, Illustrator layer. So what we can do with one of these selected is we can right click it, go to create, and click on create shapes from vector layer. Now if we open the shape layer that was just created, go in the contents, we now are gonna have every single uh, layer editable. And you can go into those groups and you can animate the transform properties. I'm not gonna do that in this tutorial, but I wanna show you that layer of depth. 
So if you want to animate those, you can go in each group and animate them here instead of After Effects. But for these, I want to continue the same animation, grab the anchor point and like scale these into the center here or over to the corner. And we'll just hit Astron Keyboard for scale and we'll bring it forward and we'll bring it down to 0%. Make them easy, easy keyframes. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the other one. So with some careful planning with the animation, we can animate in our entire object individually. And of course, the animation is just not done here yet. So if we want to be able to move the entire object around, what we need to do is go to Layer, New, Null Object. And we can parent every single layer to the null object. So grab that pick whip, parent it right there. And now with our null selected, um, you know, one thing I would do is first of all, grab the pan behind tool and put the anchor point in the center of your object with that null layer selected there. And, you know, now we can hit asterisk keyword for scale. We can scale it down from the center or we can do what people might prefer, which is to maybe add a little bit of just position to this. So we hit peering keyboard for position. We'll add a keyframe for it and we grab the selection tool and we can just move this around. So let's see, maybe perhaps we'll have this over here. You know, maybe we'll move this keyframe in time. So now we can have this animated in here and it can move around. We can also, you know, maybe hit R on the keyboard for rotation, add a keyframe for that, and we can rotate it by a little bit, you know? Yeah, that could be pretty unique. So you can kind of do whatever you want with your animation here. We have a little position and rotation as well. And of course we have no background, we have no context for this scene. So obviously you're gonna wanna build out more things. So for example, on this website, you can also download download like uh, backgrounds or anything for your scene. So I have this you know space scene here uh, that I've already separated inside of Illustrator. And I'll bring this layer into my composition and turn on that vector icon button and scale it up. And now I have something in here. Maybe I'll hit T my keyboard for opacity and lower it down. I will link this in the description, of course. We have the ability to create our own animation very easily. So now we have the ability to add more elements to the scene, but this is generally the gist of creating effective animation. I know this isn't much to show for obviously a tutorial, but this is the groundwork to starting to do good animation between Illustrator and After Effects. So of course, there's always little things that we can do to add value to our composition. So for example, our YouTube channel, Sunduck Film, has its own motion graphic pack and right here instead of After Effects. And you know, we can add some extra graphics to help spice this up. So for example, if I want to add more detail to this, I can like add a cluster of accent motion graphics, click apply with our own extension and it automatically adds accent motion graphics to our composition just to bring more detail of animation to put more eyes on what's important. And of course, in this pack, we have like over 100 titles uh, that you can use for your projects and also animated backgrounds. I will link this one in the description if you're interested in checking out our motion graphics starter pack, but also if you're doing a lot of animation, another great tool that I would take a look at is Animation Composer. And this is specifically a tool that's going to help you animate objects really quick. So for example, if I want to animate everything here really fast, I can select all my layers, go to Transition Presets, go to 2D Layer Transition Presets, grab one out of a thousand motion presets here. I can do whatever I want. Maybe I'll do like a position and scale. Preview the animation before I apply it. You know, maybe that's cool. Apply it as in. Now our entire object will be individually animated and of course, come here to more tools, transition shifter, easily move our uh, layers around really quick so I can offset everything. And now within just a few clicks of a button, we've been able to animate our entire object really quick instead of doing everything manually because every single animation that you'd want to do is within this pack. So I'll link this description as well. So you can check out Animation Composer off of Video Hive and our very own motion graphics starter pack off of our website. So those links will be in the description and these are both tools to help you produce amazing work and save you a lot of time. So now after watching this video, you should be able to easily create pretty much any animation you're looking to create using Adobe Illustrator and After Effects combined together. I hope you found this video helpful and are able to take away these techniques. And if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creating.